Uh, my name is Jean-Pierre Privé. I'm the head scientist here at the Senator Hervé Jean-Michaud Research Farm. And uh, I guess a, a little intro would be that, you know, Canadians are expecting that all economic sectors, uh, including agriculture and horticulture, do their part to uh, protect the environment. And so the research we do here understands that uh, environmental stewardship is the key to long-term sustainability and also profitability for the growers and for the Canadian industry. Let me give you an example. Um, the weather in the Maritimes is not always very conducive to production of crops. 2011 was a very wet, cool year. So one of the ways we can mitigate the effects of the environment that on production is to actually look at protected structures and protected structures on raspberries, tomatoes, peppers, so on and so forth to sort of prevent the water from falling down onto the plants and propagating diseases. Um, even just by putting a little rain shelter, a little umbrella over the raspberry plants, we were able to, in 2011, increase the yields by one and a half times. So, and that's without changing the climate whatsoever, the temperature and so on, but just preventing water from falling down. And we did this in Paquetteville and in Saint Leonard in New Brunswick, and we were able to increase the yields that way. The farm here got established in the late 70s, and the, the buildings were actually uh, inaugurated in 1982. So it we're a very young farm, and we have roughly 28 hectares of land um, uh, that we do our research on. Now I've spoke only of, of, of a little part of my research, but there's also a lot of research being done on vegetables uh, and organics on vegetables and different ways in which we can grow uh, or vegetable crops organically. These rain shelters, uh, they're opened up for the winter now, but showed uh, phenomenal differences this year. Now I, got, I just wrote down a few things here. Uh, green peppers. Uh, there was five to seven time higher yields and this is all without any insecticides or fungicides so they're grown totally biologically so five to seven times higher yields in the tunnels as compared to outside red peppers up to a hundred times higher because with the wet weather they couldn't get the red uh, peppers tomatoes two to six times higher production in the tunnels interesting the day neutral strawberries they produced higher outside than inside. And that's because it, the temperatures got a little bit too warm inside the, the tunnels. And the raspberries inside the tunnels here were roughly about two times higher producing than outside. So you can see that sustainable production can also be profitable to the grower. And so we've got a whole team here working on pathology, entomology, physiology, and economical feasibility. Uh, that are be assessing the, the, the structures that we do on a, an ecosystem basis. This project actually is uh, thanks to the Really Local Harvest Co-op, who's the, the link to the funding source from the province so that we can run these tests in various locations across the province. And that means that it includes the growers on the project. So we have growers from Waterboro, we have growers from Acadieville, we have growers from Paquetteville, and Saint Leonard and Boktouche that are involved in this project. Do they need to have experience uh, in the field before having a structure like this? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think you do. You really need to have a basis because your fertility, everything in here uh, grows faster, uh, is more subject to um, insect damages, um, nutritional imbalances. So it, someone has to have a good handle on growing crops before getting into this because things explode a lot faster. I said we grow them organically, and we grow them biologically. That means we have to make sure that we put the predators to control the pests and we need to watch things very closely. Even if we're fertilizing with organic fertilizers, they're much more dilute and you have to make sure you stay on top of things much, much greater. And the other big thing is you really need to have a very good irrigation system because there's obviously no water falling on these plants. So you need to manage also your water very carefully. I think this provides 
a really, really strong potential for, for growers. The growers that I'm working with right now that have the tunnels are all expanding and putting in more and more tunnels. They see the benefits, not only of growing the crops, but also managing their, their workforce. Rain or shine, they'll go, in the, they'll go in the tunnels and they'll work and they'll be able to weed, they'll be able to pick, they'll be able to do everything. So the, the people, the growers that really have the tunnels are seeing all the benefits along the whole value chain and, and they're really keen on going. And I think it's something that's going to catch on more and more and we're really grateful to the really local harvest co-op for providing us the funding for us to do this research.